Hi everyone, this is Christy with Guidepost Wellness. And yes, I am lying on a blanket underneath a tree at work. Uh, this is what I like to do sometimes on my lunch break. I actually did a few minutes on the treadmill and then came out here and did a meditation uh, through the Omvana app, which I really like. I'll put the link down below a little bit about that. And Lee Holden, he's a, a great a great uh, qigong I've got some of his exercise things so I will definitely put that in the, the comments below or the remarks below but I am down 3.4 pounds uh, this is only the second week and I had some ups and downs um, I have to say gotta read all of the instructions for the protocol because I read that we could do some intermittent fasting which I'll talk about what that actually is in a minute but I failed to read uh, to wait after two weeks. So I did intermittent fasting a little too soon and it slowed me down a little bit. So I had a bit of a roller coaster during the week where my ketosis got pretty low. I mean, I was still about 15 or so, but I wasn't doing the 40 or I was like 80 this morning. Um, so I'm gonna hold off on doing any more intermittent fasting for a little bit. Um, for those of you that are familiar, intermittent fasting um, is, is just really where you're doing some restrictions of the times that you eat. There's a whole variety of different types of intermittent fasts that are out there. There's some folks that um, do some pretty radical stuff. And one thing that I will mention right now is that intermittent fasting is not for everyone. It's very individualized. There's so many factors to go into play. Um, so that's why it's something that you should, you know, try to do pretty carefully. Um, and intermittent fasting definitely works better when you are in a state of ketosis or at least in a fat burning mode because going long periods of time without carbohydrates when you're in more of a sugar burning mode um, can lead to hypoglycemia and you know hangriness and all of those things that go along with that so um, so with I had done a lot of intermittent fasting before which really I would you know, eat my dinner about 6 p.m. the night before, and then I wouldn't break my fast until I've kind of felt hungry, which sometimes could be 10, 11, or sometimes not even till noon. Um, and the key with intermittent fasting, again, is to find what works for you, uh, find a schedule of it that works for you, and then also make sure that when you break the fast, you do it with a quality meal. Um, make sure that you are really getting some good quality food in there and, and not uh, just some simple carbs or something like that. So um, again, I'm down 3.4 pounds. i excited about that. Um, when I went back and talked to Dr. Atkins, we decided to add some additional protein uh, for breakfast. So I'm actually doing chicken sausage or egg whites. Um, I'm really lazy, so I literally just take the eggs, egg whites to work with me and, and um, grease a, a bowl in a container and then just kind of shake them up and microwave them and just make a you know really quick egg white scramble uh, in the microwave. And that works for me. It's, it's simple, it's easy, it's more about the protein um, than truly doing a um, gourmet breakfast. <laughs> but um, one thing that I will say is when I'm in a high state of ketosis, um, I just feel really, really good. I can not even, two nights ago I didn't even sleep that well, but I woke up and I was burning hot with 80 um, ketosis and just was like, wow, I feel really, really good. Um, and the other thing that Dr. Atkins added was some um, cardio. So I, I have to really take it easy because I can, I can get a little too gung-ho with exercise because I enjoy it. I like moving and making myself fitter, but my thyroid doesn't. Um, and with Hashimoto's, I, I have to be really careful because I can, I can overdo it and actually spike the cortisol levels, cause my thyroid to just kind of kick in and, and downregulate for me. So just been doing 15 minutes of a brisk pace on the treadmill and and everything like that um, so other factors that are really important is making sure that you're adding in uh, other healthy lifestyle things uh, just like the meditation and and I do yoga pretty regularly um, 
but the mindfulness exercise really helps and that's why I like just kind of pulling my blanket out of my drawer at work and coming down and laying down in front of a shade tree sometimes people give me funny looks but you know don't knock it till you try it gotta find what works for you I find this very restful and relaxing I like to hear the wind in the trees and see the sun dapple um, and just kind of take a brain break so find something that you I uh, think is mindful and that really helps and um, I will be touching base with everybody in another week hoping to keep up the two to three pounds per week pace so we'll see how that goes Take care. Be well.